Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, happy Thursday everybody. Welcome uh, to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Um, crazy day. Okay, so yesterday um, on the video, uh, we talked about, you know, I really thought we were going to have an incredibly choppy session today, okay? Um, everything closed basically in the middle of their channels. There was nothing that I saw yesterday that gave me any indication that, you know what, we're going to have an expansion day. Okay. Uh, this morning at morning strategy, I said, "Listen, I'm you know I'm going to be at least in the first part, you know, just in cash flow mode, just to see uh, where's their strength." Again, we talked about yesterday that the queues weren't anywhere technically they needed to be sold. Okay, um, I just thought there was something very weird underneath the hood, and the most amazing part, and this was kind of my 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 comments um, in the in the morning uh, in the morning session. List, I said, look, I have no expectations for today. I have no, um, I have no good feel that the market is going to do one thing or another. Um, let the market open up. You know, let it do, let it do its little song and dance. Uh, we're going to find some setups, and if we get pleasantly surprised and again. Um, you know, when you have absolutely no expectations, you're not going to get let down. You're not going to have uh, any any uh, any type of emotional letdown. Um, maybe something will pop up. Okay, this is why this market's so effing, and that's the best way of saying it. It is so effing amazing. The strength in this tape. I, I think that's the best way of saying it. And if you look at how the market opened, you know, we we had the jobs numbers. Nothing really crazy one way or another. I don't even honestly, I don't even remember the first reaction uh, from the jobs number. I know certain names were down a little bit, certain names were up a little bit. But the one thing that I kept on noticing was that Nvidia came out with earnings, and everybody knows just you know just in the last several months, Nvidia just had an absolutely huge, just a huge, huge run. And I looked this morning, I go, Nvidia's only down four bucks. Okay, so. The idea that it's going to put a lot of pressure, especially from the mem members of the NASDAQ 100, the QQQs, was going to be a little, you know, was going to be a little, uh, you know, a little extended because, again, you know, NVIDIA is usually down more on, on, on a regular open. So I looked at it, I go, wow, it's not really down. So I said, look, if it could just reclaim a couple of levels and just start taking out a couple of channels, who knows? Maybe we'll get a trade there, right? And then I started looking at Zoom. I go, all right, Zoom, they got upgraded by Morgan Stanley. Okay, here's another pivot. Maybe we'll get a trade there, right? And I started putting in pivots one by one by one. And then next thing you know, and again, this is why we say all the time, this is why uh, trading and the COVID market of the, 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 the rabid dog, crazy lunatic rabid dog market of 2020 completely lives on. And with this day turned into literally from a non-event, okay, literally from a non-event uh, type of scenario coming in into an extravaganza of measured potential, okay? I think that's the best way of saying it. And, you know, everybody's going to talk about, you know, Tesla, you know, it finally did its thing. We saw crazy call buying uh, everywhere in Tesla for the last several days, uh, the 1900s, the 2000, the 2100, the 2200, and it's cool, right? That's the story. It's cool. A lot of, you know, really cool water talk. Tesla's a 2000. That's great, right? It's wonderful. It's a great conversational piece. Uh, and if you go into, uh, if you go into my regular feed, uh, that 1930 level was the big number, okay? That was the big number, and it took out this whole previous area, uh, broke 930, and just absolutely exploded. So this will be kind of like the icing on the cake. But if you look at all the names uh, that we trade, that we trade pretty much on a daily basis, some absolute amazing moves today. And it really does show you how, number one, again, an opinion is just an opinion, uh, until it kind of kind of forms into something, and I say this all the time, I'm fine being wrong all the time. Okay, I don't care. My opinion could be wrong every day, all day, including Sunday. But as long as you don't act that opinion, as long as you don't try to 
um, try to predict what's going to happen and let the market dictate. Because again, at the end of the day, our opinions mean nothing. Again, you can have some course of action, but again, until that action plays out, again, it's just a plan, right? So you're just hoping for it to come out. And today just turned into be a, a very, very aggressive day. Uh, the upgrades went nuts today. Square uh, caught, uh, caught a piece of good, uh, good trade in Square, good trade in Facebook. I mean, there was some good moves today, like really, really good moves today. And now, and again, I don't want to jinx it, right? I don't want to jinx it. Every single time I say something, ah, tomorrow's going to be great. And then we have an inside day, nothing happens. Oh, tomorrow's going to be a, a chop day. You know, you might want to get a little light. The market gets aggressive. So I kind of want to reverse engineer it, right? There, there's something called, and I talked about this today in the live webinar, there's something called Belichicking somebody. For all you guys who are uh, football fans, and I uh, thank on, knock on wood, and hopefully three weeks from now there will be kickoff, right? There's something called getting Belichicked. And what that basically means is right before, you know, right before a game, Bill Belichick would go on his uh, pre-game or pre-week news conference and compliment the death of the other team. So, for example, the weeks they were playing the Jets, oh, Mark Sanchez is so good. We're going to have such a tough time. And what this does, it, it almost like puts the energy out there into the football gods. And you look up when it's kickoff on Sunday and the Patriots are up 35 to nothing, right? That's called being Belichick. So I'm going to try to Belichick the market for tomorrow. Yeah, we're probably going to have a very, very slow day. God forbid nothing really ever happens on a Friday. Bull market? Eh, maybe. Who knows? Maybe the stocks will go down. We're Belichicking the market right now, guys. All jokes aside, some phenomenal setups for tomorrow. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping uh, they confirm. If you look at, uh, if you look at the, you know, the scoreboard today, everything's breaking out or about to break out. Microsoft looks amazing. Facebook looks amazing. Netflix, when I tell you there was some call buying on Netflix today, just listen to me. There was some call buying going on on Netflix today. Uh, Amazon is very, very close to really, really busting out. We got to watch that as well. Apple continues to be a monster. Um, everything, just everything looks good. Even Boeing had an uptick today. For the love of God, hell must be freezing over. Boeing had an uptick today. Not before there was a $2 pivot to the downside, but it has an uptick. So I think going into tomorrow, all jokes aside, as much as I'm trying to Belichick uh, the market gods, and hopefully, you know, and hopefully uh, things play out our way as far as setup confirmations, the market looks good, okay? The market looks really, really good. And when you think back, like really, really think back, I sometimes just sit, sit and marvel of actually what's going on. 40, 50 million people unemployed, the worst you know, pandemic in our lifetimes, okay? And the market is just amazing. An absolutely big, aggressive bull run. Again, what is going to get the market done? I mean, what is it going to get? Tired, meteors, aliens, right? What's going to get this market lower? Again, anything's possible, but what's going to get this market lower? And now we are starting slowly but surely preparing for fourth quarter, which, oh, by the way, is only uh, an incredible, you know, time for equity prices because if retail gets going Black Friday and all that stuff and you have crazy sales for Cyber Mondays and Cyber Thursdays because everybody's not going anywhere so the economy is going to get a boost so again if you are a perma bear and all you you know all the Jim Chanos of the world and um, you know the zero hedges of the world and the David Tice's of the world that want and pray every day that a disease a famine a meteor hits the earth that we all die so they can make money in their miserable lives, right? Seriously, what the hell is going to get this market down? Other than that, let's enjoy what we got. The market's very, very aggressive. Let's take it day by day. Let's take off the rose-colored glasses one day at a time, one trade at a time. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So let's talk about the day uh, again. Just, just crazy. Crazy, crazy day. So here is the day. And I go, look, I'm in cash flow mode, right? This is what we talked about. I'm in cash flow mode. Let's stay patient, okay? So Square, 154 needs to build. Again, they got upgraded. Next thing I know, Square is absolutely exploding, right? I get long Square. Uh, that 54 level, you can see here, you know, got rejected. You know, 50, what was it? 50, um, 
I'm sorry, excuse me, right here. Uh, this 54 level got rejected several times, once on August the 7th, uh, August the 7th, the other one a couple of days ago. It reclaimed 57, when, uh, excuse me, reclaimed 54, went all the way up to 58. Huge move. Again, this thing is a stone throws away, taking out 52 week highs. So that was good, right? That was good. Uh, Shaq, Shake Shaq. And again, if, if I believed for a second that, you know, look, the market is going to be really, really good, I would, Shaq would never make it uh, on my radar. But I said to myself, well, let's see what we have, right? Let's see what we have. So uh, 56.30, 56.50 needs to build. And again, this is why we talk about, you know, I trade beta. And the reason why I trade beta, if I saw a setup like this that got upgraded, and if it was Tesla and Netflix, this we'd be having this conversation somewhere up here. So this thing trades to 56.48, obviously 56.50, I wanted to see it reclaim, never got there. But again, that's the difference between beta and everything else. Everything else is cool. You can invest in it, you can make some money on it. But again, when you're looking to trade non-beta, it's probably not gonna be very thin, okay? widespreads uh most people will not know what it is and of course everybody knows who shake shack is but there's so many companies out there they're just there okay there is no emotional attachment we talk about this all the time there are no haters right you need a good stock the best stocks in the world are the ones that are hated why because they're emotional attachments tesla right tesla hated facebook hated right hated hated stocks uh so these are really really good names um, because again, people pile on on both sides and they argue to each other. My three shares are bigger than your four shares. You know the routine. Social media, please never go away. Uh, but that's kind of the game. So that's that. Uh, so Shaq never did anything. And this is what really start, this is what really set it off. I mean, really set it off like it was the 4th of July. So 478 was the rising five day support, right? And I said, for experienced traders, there's a remount long off that 478 level. Or in case it ribs back, and again, I, you know, there was a shot it, it could rip back. If it gets above that 485, uh, 485, 75, 486, it could go, right? So here was NVIDIA. I think it really set everything off. So here was the five day, right? So here was the five day right over here, 478. Everybody see that, this orange line? So here was the five day. It went through, it reclaimed. And then the stock lost its mind, right? It, it absolutely lost its mind. So here's the four, here's the 486, right? 486, and all it did was literally go from 486 to 493, 494, excuse me, in about 15 minutes. Just, just crazy, just absolutely crazy. And I really do believe it really woke everything up, uh, for the exception of Boeing. Uh, 168, if it builds below, can flush. If you guys, if you guys realize, uh, I've been putting in Boeing pivots literally every day on the downside, and every day keeps on confirming. Um, so here is Boeing. Uh, took out, uh, took out the 168, right? Took out this whole range here. Took out the 168 uh, and traded down to 165.86. Again, something's just wrong with the stock. Uh, Qualcomm didn't do anything. Uh, 110.30, 110. It went down to like 109.60s. Did nothing. Uh, IMAX, I still like this thing. Never even came to uh, close. And then there was ZM, right? So ZM gets, gets um, upgraded by Morgan Stanley today. Uh, so I turn around, I go, look, 275 needs to build. Um, ZM had ridiculous. So here's the whole 275, right? Here's the 275 right here, right? Here's the sneaky channel, the highest level into supply, which is this. But what's amazing about what, what Zoom did today, number one, they're coming out with earnings, I think next week or the week after. The, the call buying, especially in the leaps, is amazing. You know, you're seeing, we saw today, the 350s, the 390s, just ridiculous call buying. And again, these, you know, this company is by far uh, the biggest benefactor. It could really change their business uh, because of the whole stay at home movement. Obviously, Amazon is Amazon. Amazon is going to thrive no matter what happens. But this was literally the one uh, that really, you know, really came to play uh, during the COVID. Uh, businesses took advantage of it. Schools continue to take advantage of it. Everybody got sent home. Uh, and the moral of the story is, again, big, big, uh, big, big bets on uh, its future for next year. So that was a monster move there. Uh, PDD never got to 99. Uh, Spotify, this is a thin one. I, I, don't, I don't like trading Spotify. It was way too thin for me. Uh, 266 needs to build. Um, here is Spotify, right? So it took out the 266, right? Took out the 266 and went right to supply to almost 271. If you did take... 
you know, Spotify, God bless, I did not, just way too thin for me. Uh, so that was good as well. Uh, Tesla, we were, you know, we were talking about this pivot to the downside pre-market, it came nowhere near it. Uh, and again, here's another example why, again, I trade beta. So I took this long, right? I, I took target long at 155. Okay, any time, I just wanna give you guys an, an idea why I 99% of the time trade beta. So if this was a setup, right? If this was a setup on Netflix, and the stock went red to green, we would have been again having this conversation above this monitor, okay? But instead it's target. Instead of again, it had great numbers yesterday, it did great well, very, very well. It'll probably rest tomorrow and probably start rolling back next week, back to the highs. But from the point of the trading aspect, again, there wasn't anybody on social media, yo, tar target's a fraud, man. The stock's the worst, the CEO's a scam. Okay, right, there's no emotional attachment. So I get along this thing at 55, it goes up like 10 cents and just sits there and sits there and sits there. And I'm like, well, everything else is waking up. Well, why the hell am I in this thing? So I sell the thing, I wound up making seven cents, right? Wind up making seven cents, the stock goes down $2. God bless, if you trade these stocks, God bless. I just, there's no reason, at least for me, to get involved with non-beta. Uh, Target, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, NVIDIA, take that spike, man. That spike was absolutely huge. ZM, love the, you know, love the rocket emojis, right? Absolutely love them. Um, and yeah, oh my God, what a move, right? Oh my God, what a move. And I said, look, 158, 52 week highs, that's exactly uh, where it went to. Um, Facebook was great. Facebook is great. Uh, rejected 265 twice, needs to build. Uh, great trade on Facebook. I, it, this thing goes higher. We saw, again, last couple of days, monster, monster call buying in, 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 uh, in Facebook. So here's the, the two sneaky areas. And this is what we talk about sneaky pivots. So 265 was the high here. 265 was the high here. And it finally got above this 265 and just exploded up. Exploded up at the, you know, towards the last 30 minutes. It's confirmed the 268. Close the 269. I have a feeling this thing will be a lot higher. Or if I'm bella checking the market, I would say Facebook should sell off tomorrow, right? Bella checking the market. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so perfect move on Facebook, no rally at all on, on, on uh, Amazon. You know, it's just a matter of time. Uh, 3290 needs to build. So here is Amazon, right? Here is Amazon. 3290 needs to build. Uh, traded as high as 3312. All Amazon needs to do is clear out the supply tomorrow. If this thing clears out the supply tomorrow, again, you see that 3400 area? Very, very possible. Very, very strong possibility if it confirms. Uh, Netflix, again, monster call buying. You can see there's so many moves here. Netflix, uh, 495, 50, 496 needs to build. Tons of call buying, guys. I'm telling you, do, you know, do a little research sniffing tonight. You'll see how much option flow there is on Netflix. So it took out this uh, 96, uh, traded as high as 499. I still like it. I think this thing has a shot tomorrow if the market continues to be good to 510. Uh, keep an eye on that. Um, uh, MasterCard, 33, 40, 60 needs to build. Here was MasterCard, you know, a lot of call buying, a lot of call buying in, in these um, uh, credit card names. So uh, 36 traded right to the highs. I think tomorrow, if it confirms, can go to 41. Uh, yeah, I mean, sick moves, right? Uh, sick moves. I mean, what else, what else are you going to say? Sick moves. So uh, really, really aggressive day. Again, I was incredibly pleasantly surprised. Uh, tomorrow is, um, I think, either triple witching or quadruple witching. One of the two, okay? Uh, but I do believe, you know, market is good. And if we could get a down open, which would be really, really great, uh, we could get some really good confirmations back to the upside. Guys, have a great night. God bless. And see you on the field tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.